Hey there guys, so this is the first uh, video that I've tried to do so uh, of my, of my up-and-coming fish room. So uh, just a quick little overview. Uh, 75 gallon here. My Midas. I think it's a she, pretty sure. This is a 29. Lost an angelfish in here that was several years old this morning, so uh, now just a rainbow that I've had for over 10 years, still doing fine. And another angel there in the back, just a 29 on stand. Eventually, we want to, uh, there'll be two, two tanks uh, stacked where everyone is now. So there'll be two 125s here, uh, either 275s or 290s here. Uh, when you come over this way, uh, this is a 60 gallon, and uh, there'll eventually be two 60 gallons stacked here. Uh, a blood parrot I've had since 2004 when I first got into tanks. <coughs> so that'll be. Uh, 260s eventually. Over here is my first uh, rack that I built to 125s with my uh, frontosas. Very skittish. And this is a phone video, so sorry for the poor quality. But uh, 125 with sponges and uh, aqua clear. H O B. Down below the uh, hiding in the dark because the lights just came on. The uh, Rio Hondo Carpentis from uh, Trace Hillman. Doing well. Hopefully they'll come out in just a second. And uh, my two large, two large common plecos there. So that's this wall of the room. Uh, this is a little nook where a refrigerator was that I took out and put in the garage. So I'm hoping to do a rack of 20s or 25s or 30s or whatever I can get done. But it's a pretty small room, um, but it, it works out. It'll be full enough eventually. Utility sink. Uh, cold sterile three-stage filter planning on doing discus eventually and using this um, for that so sorry for the poor light but uh, anyway it's a small room in my basement uh, I had the power added when we bought this house so can't really get wide enough to see the whole room but and the whole room is mainly doors which is a problem so that's about it. See if these guys will come out a little more. Still freaked out. Anyway, I'm getting ready to do uh, some water changes. So I'm going to get to that and uh, leave you with it. 